Hello everyone, back again with another educational and informational video. Now in today's video, we're going to talk about what's the difference between the cash value and the death benefit in a permanent life insurance policy. So I wanted to make this video because I realized in talking to people a lot of times, you know, they get both of them confused. So I just want to um, clarify the difference here. So when you have a permanent uh, life insurance policy, right? So your responsibility is to pay the premium, right? And that works with any life insurance company, right? And the insurance company's responsibility is to pay the death benefit. So in a permanent policy, there's, there are two buckets, right? So when you pay your premium, there are two premium buckets. Uh, in one bucket is going to be uh, the cost of insurance, right? So that's going to be a pay payment towards uh, the death benefit, uh, any policy expenses. So one bucket takes care of any expenses for the policy, which includes payment for the death benefit. And then the other bucket is uh, the cash value. Okay, so that's where money is placed into a savings account. So a lot of people talk about life insurance and they confuse life insurance with investment and they, they're comparing it with investment. Life insurance is not an investment. If you're going to compare it with anything, compare it with a bank because that account is a savings account, right? So, so you have one premium bucket for policy expenses and the other bucket is a savings account and that's where the cash value goes and that cash value is going to be a combination of uh, premiums going in there and interest being earned so that cash value grows as you continue to pay premium and uh, continue to gain interest and it compounds over time all right so, so the cash value back bucket does that now the cash value also is the value placed on the policy. So should you decide to stop that policy, cancel that policy, what you will receive is the cash value minus any taxes because you're closing the policy, all right? When you do close the policy, you do pay taxes. If you don't close it, then it grows tax-free. But if you close out the policy and say, I want to stop this, then you're going to get paid the cash value. So that's the value of the policy. The cash value also is what's used to pay what's called a reduced payment, a paid up. So you have that option as well. So uh, when, let's say you pay uh, into the policy for 20 years, but you don't want to pay anymore and you decide, you know what? I want to stop paying, but I want this policy to continue. You have that option to do reduce pay, paid up. And the value of the cash value that you have there, that's what you'll use to purchase. It's like a single premium life insurance and whatever death benefit you get at that time with that money, that's what it will be. All right. So um, which, which, which will be reduced. So the death benefit would be reduced based on that cash value you're paying up. Uh, for the entire policy. So that's what the cash value does. It, it does all that. You can also borrow against the cash value. All right. So when you're borrowing against your policy, you're borrowing against what's the cash value, not the death benefit. All right. So you could do that. So there's a lot of different uses for the cash value, right? It's, it's growing the money uh, that you put in there uh, with interest added on it. It's what will be used to pay up the policy if you wanted to do that. Uh, it's the value of the policy if you wanted to cancel the policy, right? And that's what you borrow against when you borrow from the policy uh, as, as well, okay? So the death benefit is what will be paid out should you die it's higher than the cash value, right? So the insurance company has to take on a risk, right? So if your cash value is growing, 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 your death benefit is also going to grow once the cash value catches up. Because in order for it to be life insurance, the insurance company has to take on a risk, all right? Back in the days, uh, you know, uh, smart people realized that, hey, we can dump money in life insurance 
and you know we could just self insure ourselves we don't have to take much death benefit and it will just grow like a cash cow and they're putting money in here back when interest was higher and it's like you know they were using it like an investment and they were just dumping money in there and it was growing and then the government stepped in and said wait 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 you, you can't do this so that's why there's different laws in place now uh, where you can't just use it for that you know you, you can use it for growth but it still has to be life insurance the, 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 the insurance company has to take on a risk so whenever you die that death benefit is what will be paid to your beneficiary so if let's say let's say the death benefit is a million dollars and you already paid a hundred thousand dollars into it uh, obviously a cash value is not going to reach there yet right and you die your beneficiary will get a million dollars okay so the insurance company has to take up that risk between the the difference between the cash value and the death benefit all right so that's what it is that's the difference the death benefit is 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 definitely what's paid out that's the risk the insurance has to take all right so when you grow your cash value and it let's say it reached to eight hundred thousand uh your death benefit is a million the insurance is a company is at risk for two hundred thousand so um hope that explains to you guys what the difference is and you don't borrow from your death benefit you borrow against your cash value or you borrow from your cash value so um hope it hope it explains that if you guys have any questions as usual you know feel free to leave that question in the comment section and as always if you haven't already subscribed to the channel make sure you do that and i'll drop a video uh one or two videos a week and uh also hit the notification bell so that whenever i drop those videos you'll be one of the first to be notified until next time talk to you soon